We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for returns for the smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with HYMC and the stock had an explosive run today and it wasn't the only stock pushing up higher. The overall market was pushing up higher and the SPY was pushing up higher. Our spy bot this morning sent us out since 9 a.m. a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, call options were up 2 to 3x within an hour, guys. This is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down. And you can gain access as well to these resources and join the members receiving the clarity and that edge. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and the spy bot and our QQQ bot. So HYMC after consolidating and slowly going downwards, it actually had a bounce today and we're going to break it all down in today's video. What key levels to look at going into tomorrow? Is this a real bounce or a dead cap bounce? But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity I mentioned this morning over at the discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So these are the three stocks I mentioned this morning. All of them gave 3 to 5%, 5 to 10%, but one of them turned out to be a home run. And this is how it performed. And this one was DPRO. We caught this one in the pre-market. Had a small jump of 5 to 10% within the pre-market hours. Pulled back, consolidated, and towards the bell, shifted into strength on 42 vision. Got that bull indicator as an extra layer of confirmation. And within minutes, hit a highest point of 30% plus, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks, every single morning early on in the pre-market, Check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us. We strive for opportunities like these every single day. And let's jump into these charts. So here we are with HYMC and the stock had an explosive run and quickly things are pulling back right after going higher, right? But it had been under a slow downward trend and consolidation, if you want to call it, right? But... Yesterday, it was at a point where it was looking interesting, but just not strong enough based off the white with red borders on 42 vision and things continued. And today it hit that extreme weakness and reversed back up. And we're going to pull up ultimate 42 vision, the bow and bear indicators to confirm the overall picture here within the charts. And you can gain access to the bow and bear indicators as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators to receive the clarity you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down there's always an opportunity within the charts so here we are with hymc after pulling downwards and being under a bear indicator today from that reversal of 112 it went to highs here of 150 nearly a 30 to 40 percent plus move and a transition from white with red borders to red with green straight to bright green and it got a bull indicator down here at 117 and went all the way up once again to 150 and the second highest point was 141 and things are quickly shifting right back down now it's been doing these quick jumps for the last several times when it has actually went ahead and got a bull indicator right one of the strongest moves was this one back here on the 10th to the 11th, it lasted more than one day, but every other quick move has actually lasted for several minutes to hours. So here we are with the question, is this another dead cap bounce or a healthy true run, right? So HYMC just based off the charts, no news, no speculation based off technicals. If we pull up the bigger picture here, right, you could see on the four hour that it's still under a bear indicator this bear indicator popped up at around 135 we're slightly below that and today's lows was 111 this needs to go ahead and get canceled out 
by a bull indicator in this process of a possible reversal. I know it's exciting. I know it's great. And we need to keep this in mind. It is under a bear indicator on the four hour. The only thing that can turn this around is breaking through resistance, signifying real strength, canceling out this bear indicator, getting a bull indicator, and within those moves, a possible squeeze happening in the process, right? Because that's one of the things that can create an even further catalyst to the upside. Super important to keep that in mind. Now, if we look at the one day, things are still showing bullishness, right? It's under a bull indicator since way down here at 70 cents, went all the way up to 273, came back down, and this is the first bar, right, on the one day as it's been going downwards that has slightly leveled off. The question is, could it continue that reversal and go from dark green with red borders to dark green with green borders and shift into bright green again? That will signify the beginning of a possible strength reversal here and this one day not getting canceled out this bull indicator on the one day because no bear indicator has popped up. But if it continues to sit sideways and shifts downwards and goes into a red bar, the possibility of a bear indicator is much higher because it has been pulling downwards for some time. But on the one day, no bear indicator and we have a bull indicator. On the four hour, same thing here, showing that strength on the sideways action, but under a bear indicator within the volatility and on the 30 minute if we go all the way back to the 30 minute things are currently showing strength but quickly reversing back down so what's the key support and resistance levels here well the first support level here is 130 i would just round that up it says 129 130 which is not that far from it right if that gets broken through then down here at 124 125 give or take and then all the way back down here to 112, the lowest point of the day before the reversal started. To the upside, we want to see this break through 140, use that as support, break away from it, get back to 150, and above 150, we have 174, 175, give or take. Those are the key levels right now to the upside and to the downside that I'm looking at and watching and one of the main things here with 42 vision is for this bull indicator to continue to hold true. And even though it's pulling back, as I always call it, it's not a setback. If not, the setup for the next bull run is that no bear indicator pops up in this area. Because if a bear indicator pops up in this area, it can negate this bull indicator. But as long as that doesn't happen, this bull indicator will hold true and things could continue to possibly try to retest highs or even go higher. That is what I'm going to be watching carefully. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. And if you guys want to receive clarity within the volatility of the markets and receive that edge within the volatility that all the members are receiving with 42 Vision, check out the link down below in the description to the 42 Vision indicators to receive access to the SPY bot, QQQ bot, and the clarity you deserve within the volatility to maximize on opportunities. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.